Gmail is an essential productivity tool for most of us and is often the primary email service we use. But many don't know that there are third-party add-ons that enhance or extend the productivity of Gmail. So let's have a look at some of them. I've included links to the add-ons in the description. You may also search for it in the Chrome Web Store. The first add-on is Checker Plus. Now with Checker Plus you get desktop notifications of your email. You can read or delete emails without opening Gmail. You can also manage multiple accounts. So let's see it in action. So go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Checker Plus for Gmail under extensions. Click on the Add to Chrome button. Now once installed, there's a lot of customization and options that you can play with. So we'll leave it at the default settings. You'll also notice a red email icon to the top right that gives you notifications when you have a new email. Now click the icon and you can directly respond or take actions with the emails. The second add-on is Todoist, which is a to-do app that lets you organize your task right from your Gmail. Installation is simple and similar to the earlier add-on. Search for Todoist for Gmail. Click the Add to Chrome button. Now once installed, you will notice the Todoist panel at the bottom of your page when you open Gmail. Once you've entered the, click on the Add to Task option first. Once you've entered the, sem the summary, you can also schedule it, categorize it, set a priority, or even set a reminder around it. Pretty useful. Now the third add-on is Dropbox for Gmail. With this add-on, it becomes easy to share large files or shared resources without having to clutter your inbox or waste time in uh, sending or receiving large attachments. So search for Dropbox or Gmail. Click on the more extension results because it's not visible in the first three. Click the add to Chrome button. This is the one that we're looking at. Now when you compose uh, uh, an email, yeah, as you can see it's been installed and you can click the get started to get with installation. When you compose an email, you will see the Dropbox icon next to the send button. Yeah. So click that and share any of your existing files or upload a new file. Now click the insert link and as you can see a link to the file is now included in the email and all the recipients of the email need to do is uh, click the icon and download the file. So I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. There are more useful video guides coming away from TechKen. Now TechKen is a new channel that focuses on technology and design so please like and subscribe to the TechKen channel to support my efforts. Thank you for watching.